Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download maps and directions on Google Maps from an Android phone. So the first step is you download the map of the area that you're going to be navigating. So you open up the Google Maps app, um, you click the destination of where you want to go. Let's say it's Disneyland. You're hoping to go there on vacation. Um, then you scroll over on the bottom to the section that says more with the three dots by it. you click on more and then you click download offline map so this part's important because it depends from where you're starting from how big of a map you want to make it so to get a bigger map you just pinch in like that um, you could make this thing it looks like there's a limit to how big you can make it you can't do the whole state of california but if you were in santa barbara for example that's within the parameters of this download. You can download that map. So let's say I'm going from Santa Barbara to Disneyland in LA in Anaheim. I'd select that area, make sure it's all in the driving distance, click download, and then you'll see that the, the map will be downloading there in the background. So once the download is complete of your offline map, then you can navigate to anywhere within that downloaded map, whether you have a Wi-Fi or cellular connection or not, and still find where you're going. The only difference is you won't be able to get live directions along the route because you need Wi-Fi for that. So you'll have a turn-by-turn -turn directions that you'll have to follow. A little bit old school, but it still works. To find the maps that you've downloaded offline, you're back in the Google Maps application on any page. You click on your profile photo, and then you scroll down to offline maps right there. So you can see the map that I just downloaded says Anaheim right at the top. Um, so I've got the map in there for Anaheim. And now I should be able to turn off my Wi-Fi and cellular data connection, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi, uh, Google Fi, and data connection. Go back to my map, and let's see if I can navigate from Santa Barbara to Disneyland um, now that I'm not connected to the internet. So I'm going to type in Disneyland, right there, Disneyland Drive, California. So it says offline, limited info, and I'm going to click directions, and then my starting point, I'll pick Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, right there. So this is not going to give me live directions, as I mentioned, but it still shows me my route. I can also swipe up there, and you can see the turn-by-turn -turn directions along the route. So I know for 0.3 miles I'll go this way, then I'm going to turn left on Haley Street. So as you're driving and using this, it's not going to give you live updates. You're going to have to pay attention to the street signs and your distance, things like that. It's a little trickier, but it definitely works, um, and it's a lot better than having no map at all. As a bonus tip, I want to share with you a cool new feature that I just recently started using on Google Maps, which is called Live View. So it's an augmented reality view on maps when you're walking in a city center. You can look through the map and you can see actual arrows pointing in directions of where you want to go. For this one, you do actually have to have an internet connection. I did this recently in London. I was on a trip there, and this is what it looks like. You, you click on the Live View icon in the bottom left on your screen, and then you can, your phone's camera is activated, so you're looking through the camera, but you're seeing big arrows on the street, as you can see here, showing you which way to go. So it's kind of a fun, immersive experience, seeing real people walking by, but also seeing the directions of where you want to go. So I hope this video was helpful for you. That's how to, to download Google Maps directions off, and use them offline. First step is download the area in Google Maps. Second step, is open that downloaded map or just open Google Maps and search within that area that you've already downloaded. I also showed you as a bonus how to use Live View as I did recently in London walking around on the streets. It uses up your data, it uses the battery on your phone, but it's a fun, immersive thing. I definitely recommend trying that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon.